and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Another record-breaking season for the United Rugby Championship with viewership, um, support, audiences growing once again to show that it is statistically the fastest growing rugby league in the world and uh, I think is really starting to show exactly why South Africa has made this very bold move to Europe and we are really starting to see the results and it also shows you just how big um, the South African audience is given the fact that in adding these four South African teams has had such a big response um, with regards to the audience uh, growth and uh, and the way that people are starting to consume uh, the URC. They've got a massive YouTube rise, for example. They have shattered uh, their total audience figure to 47.7 million compared to 37.4 million a year ago, which is also a record as well. Um, there were um, there was weekends with, with, uh, with more than 4 million people uh, tuning in. It shows you how valuable South African teams are because, for example, the Bulls was a massive factor in some of these bigger audiences. Uh, so it's another interesting season where it continues to grow and uh, I think will not be slowing down any time soon. Before we get into some of the exact numbers, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Um, right, so we've now finally got uh, some of these stats in from this season and very, very interesting ones as well. Uh, let's go to it, shall we? So we, spoke, we mentioned it already. The... Uh, um, the, the total audience figure for 2023 was 37.4 million. That is up to 47.7 million um, with a 4.7 million player audience and an average round audience of 2.39 million people on the broadcast. Uh, in terms of attendance, 1.69 million fans attended game, up 3% from last season. Uh, it was about an average of 11.2 thousand people per game and about 146,000 people going to the stadiums um, every round. I think that will only go up. I think, you know, we, we could see notably that more people are getting back into the stadiums uh, this season. I think that's going to increase um, as well. Um, one of the seven rounds that achieved an audience of over 2.5 million, whilst a further 4.7 million turned into the seven playoff, one of a playoff series where the average audience per game was 671,428 people watching on broadcast. A lot of that was the Bulls. They had close on a million viewers in their semi-final against Leinster. Uh, the grand final was watched by 1.1 million people up against um, uh, Glasgow Warriors. Um, the big thing over the moment was um, the URC's audience beyond its core markets with an overseas growth by 138% to 6.2 million. That's very important. Now, that's an overseas audience, which means it's non-URC uh, players, basically. Um, so, or teams, so you know, taking away the the the, the sort of external audience. Um, so speaking about the uh, the impressive broadcast milestones, Martin and I, the CEO, said uh, this: there is an incredible array of international stars and next gen talent taking to the pitch every single week in the URC, and that is a major attractive attraction. Selected by some of the sharpest minds in rugby, these teams are also competing in a format that is designed to deliver drama. In three seasons, the grand final has produced two away winners. Our playoffs continue to deliver surprise results, and nearly half of our games are decided by seven points or less, a feat no other club competition can match in this past season. So that's a very interesting point, the fact that, um, you know, it is very close with regards to the rugby point of view, not just from a a um, an audience point of view, we're talking about the, the various different teams being very nice and nice and close and being nice and competitive as well. Um, so very, very good. Now, a big thing about uh, the URC, I think one of the reasons it's been so successful is their social media is really, really good. Um, the social media channels having they had a one million total following across all the various different channels. The URC is now ranked as the fastest growing rugby competition across social media. Uh, a 29% increase um, up to 1.3 million, while engagement improved by 22%. Uh, in terms of various interesting uh, platforms, TikTok at 33%, Facebook 21%, Instagram at 70% were key drivers to this growth. Uh, 16 teams within the competition also showed a combined increase in the rate of new followers that surpasses clubs in other European leagues. Uh, then a massive thing about that has been the YouTube channel increases. So it says that uh, the off-field performance in the 2023-24 has seen the league's official YouTube channel increase views from 8.7 to 40.6 million, a 356% rise, um, which has also been backed up by an 84% increase in subscribers to 140,000 
And that's just the UFC official ones. For example, they also look at, um, when you look at uh, the World Cup, for example, and they looked at the kind of the, the big reach, that would include views, for example, like the, the views on this channel, um, you know, in terms of people covering the competition. So that's just the official channel. That takes away the views that are, 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 are covering that. And, you know, there's a couple of million views, for example, coming from this channel alone. So uh, their reach is really, really big when it comes to, to YouTube and, and social media in general. So it's, it's a really, really impressive feat. And uh, I think the big thing as well, if you look at the audience, apparently the social media has been really big uptake, especially in sort of like your Gen Z viewers. Um, so that's growing as well. And this is the exciting thing, you know, it's a new competition, only three seasons in, and yet it continues to grow year on year. We definitely made the right decision going to the URC. The question is how long can we sustain this growth? And then once those starts taper off, can we then sustain those kind of numbers long term? You know, because obviously the growth rate's probably gonna drop um, eventually, or obviously it always does. Uh, and you have to keep sort of innovating and finding reasons to 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 watch, reasons to sort of keep this um, this this going and keep people interested. So uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.